and welcome to another episode of CUP TV. My name is Anne Smith and today I would like to show you my Butterfly Cascade card. The download for this one includes three different file formats. You have a choice of GSD, SVG and also Silhouette Studio. The CUP number for this one is 290383 underscore 1492. I have included four different sentiment panels so this card can be used for quite a wide range of different occasions. The one that I'm going to show you today is for Mother's Day like this but I've also included best wishes Happy birthday and with love. So I hope you have fun with this one and thank you for watching. The first file includes the main body of the card and the liner. The second file includes the cut out butterfly wings and also the 3D flowers and the sentiment panels. The first thing I'm going to do is to match up the butterfly wings and their backings to make sure that I don't put glue on the wrong side. I find it easier to line them all up first and then stick them together all in one go, but that's just my personal preference. I put just a little bit of PVA glue along the centre of the butterfly body and then carefully line up the backing. Once I've stuck them all into position, I'm just going to put them to one side for the glue to dry. Putting the car together is much easier if you put the liner in now rather than waiting until the end. I am using double sided tape to attach mine but use whatever method you prefer. I simply place the liner in position and then stick the card to it and then I repeat again for the back of the card. Now it's time for the next step with the butterflies. Again I'm using double sided tape because it's clean and it's easy. I was going to attach the butterflies to the card just as they were but then I decided to give them a little bit of extra bling with some glitter. If you do the same, just be careful that you don't accidentally stick the wing to the backing. After I've put the glue on, I just sprinkle on some glitter and then I just tap off the excess. Decorate these up as much or as little as you want to. The possibilities really are endless depending on the effect that you want to achieve. While I'm waiting for the glue to dry, I'm going to start shaping the flowers. I'm using a large embossing tool and a mouse mat just to add a little bit of extra shape to the petals of the flowers. I have used the end of a fat paintbrush before but it's definitely easier with the proper embossing tool. Now I'm going to start putting everything together. I've already peeled off the backing on the tape on all of the cut out butterflies so all I have to do is carefully line them up with the butterflies on the card. Depending on your choice of colours and how many layers you decide to build up this card can have so many different looks. I've done five now and each one has turned out totally different. Next it's time to have some fun with the flowers. All I do here is just use a tiny dab of PVA glue to attach them to the card. This means that I have time to make any adjustments I want to to the position. I also find it a lot easier to use tweezers to pick them up and put them in place as well. I wanted to make this card quite indulgent so I've used anything up to three layers on the flowers but on another variation I did I didn't add any extra flowers at all just loads of gemstones instead in the centres. It gives a totally different feel to the card. I hope you feel inspired to experiment to see what looks you can come up with. Next I'm going to attach my sentiment panel. I'm just using tiny dabs of PVA glue for this because it gives me just little time to make any adjustments that I need to. As I said before, I have included four different sentiment panels. One for Mother's Day, one for Best Wishes, With Love and another one for Happy Birthday. But I think this card could work for a lot of other occasions as well. I like finishing the flowers off with gemstones. But if you wanted, you could either use the centres that I have included in the cutting file, or you could even use a punch if you prefer. I don't actually have a proper pickup tool, but I've cheated with a little screwdriver with a tiny dab of sticky from the end of my glue pen. 
Just about the only thing that is left to do now is to gently fold out the butterfly wings, just ever so slightly. My mum loves bright bold colours, so this card is going to be perfect for her, and she doesn't use the internet so I don't even have to worry about her getting a sneak preview.